bitch. I could call a few people, bitch. People know her name from that song. That's it. I really feel like you can Google me and I'll verify it on six platforms. I really feel like I have more clout than Kiki Y right now. I really feel like I'm more relevant than Kiki Y right now. <laughs> After this, and everybody proving that she's a racist, nobody's checking for her. Kiki Y probably charged less than I do to do a show. I empty a show, my minimum price is twenty five hundred dollars. I just got paid forty five hundred for a festival. The 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 gig was five hundred. The gig was five thousand. I just get them five hundred dollars off because I fuck with the people. So at the end of the day, I really believe I probably make more. I probably made more money emceeing this year than she made singing. No shade. She came on this app. Everybody laughing. He he ha 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 you. At the end of the day, I looked at her bank statement. I have more money in the bank than her. I've looked at her. I've looked at my credit score. My credit score is better than her. Okay. So if you talk about comparison, there is none. There is none. There is none. Kiki Y is washed up. Kiki Y is a has been. Kiki Y is a, a true literal a epithet of nobody. I trust the plus. She's a racist. Obviously. She hates the blackness in her. Obviously. You heard me. And at the end of the day, I did not. I did not, I did not, yeah, I did not, I did not tell her nothing. And so a drunk soul speak, a, a drunk soul speaks a sober mind. This girl was drunk. So how she really feel about black people came out last night. She views us as monkeys because I'm a black man, a black gay man. And how she feels about gay people came out last night as well. I am a black gay man, a black openly gay man. And who came on a panel and did not disrespect her in a, a drunk tongue speaks a sober mind. My bad. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I did not disrespect her in any way, shape, or form. And out of respect, this is the part that get me. I shouldn't have been on the panel no way. I came on the panel. I just came through, dropped my little door deals like I do any other time in Super. And whatever he got going on, drop my little door deals. Mike, throw a little laugh up. Do how you're doing and keep it pushing. I shouldn't have been on the panel. I shouldn't have not been on the panel. So at the end of the day, when I do get on the panel, so I do get on the panel because music is a topic that I like to talk about and chicken is definitely a topic my fan has like to talk about anyway. So I, I love to talk about those things anyway. So as me coming from New Orleans, I know the story of Popeyes. I know the story of KFC too, to be honest, because I'm a nerd, I know everything. But at the end of the day, I got ridiculed by this woman for no reason whatsoever. I didn't disrespect her. I didn't tell her nothing. I didn't say nothing negative about her. And from what I know, she was a friend of a friend of mine. I don't know her personally. I don't care. I never been on a panel with her. I never talked to her. I never did her nothing. Never said nothing about her. I talk, I call, I cover and talk about celebrity gossip and news. At the same time, she's neither one of those things. She's not news and she's not celebrity. So is it no shade. Y'all know her name from that song. That's a Vine, to, to be honest, I know it's the Kiki Wai feature about, but guess what? It's really a Vine song, about make the song. You ain't listen to that song because it's a Vine. And trust me, if you want to listen to Kiki Wai, you'll be listening to her after that. This retarded bitch. Let me say something. Let me say you one thing. Miss, Miss Kiki Wai is a racist. Sugar. Trust the plus. You can hear it all in her voice. You can hear. So she do. Let me say something. She's only black. You hear me? Listen to me very closely, people. She's only black when it's convenient for her. When she wanted to call me a monkey, she was black. When she wanted to call me a nigger, she was black. When she wanted to tell me kill myself, it's okay because she black. But the second they start talking about some music or something, y'all leave them good white people music alone, sugar. Understand the plus. Don't let that shit go over your head now one second. She's black when she won't call you a nigga. She's black when you won't be called a monkey. She's black when you want to do this and that. But the second it came down to some real shit talking about the music business and how white people been stealing for black people all this time, no, y'all not going to talk about these good white fakes, white people. I'm part white. Sugar. Pay attention. Oh, but when she wants to call my big fat ass a fat turd and tell me to go kill myself, she a nigga then. You nigga, you black monkey, green hair Kool Aid monkey. Oh, you, I'm a nigga. I can say it. I can say the word. I can say the word. I'm a nigga. Bitch, you can't choose and pick like that. Bitch, go sit your stupid ass down. You honky cracker. 
You was Karen talking to me last night. That wasn't that wasn't Nikisha that's in you, bitch. That was Karen, bitch. You was Karen last night when you was talking to me. The true how you feel. You hate your blackness, to be honest with you. You despise your blackness. Oh, yeah, you go and go get a black man and go get a black husband and all this stuff like that to prove to the world, like, I don't like black people, but that's no different than these white people going to get white friends to say, how can I be racist? I, uh, uh, <laughs> I have black friends. Stupid country ass. Sit your stupid, stupid ass down. I know mixed people. I know biracial people. And they attune to their blackness. This woman despises it and disdains. She's so trifling, and foolish. She's so managed and hard. She's so entitled and privileged. <laughs> I'm Kiki Wyatt. 20 years ago, I made a song. And it was good and everybody liked it. And everybody loves me because I can sing. Girl, you are the motherfucking Michelin man, bitch. You... <laughs> Every time I see you, Kiki Wyatt, I don't think of a motherfucking song, bitch. I want to buy some tires. <laughs> okay, hold on. I was trying. It was hard. I want to buy some motherfucking tires. I looked at your credit report though, sister. Mm -hmm. I looked at all the loans you missed payments on. I looked at all the payday loans and shit you be getting. I looked at all the motherfucking, I looked at the 10. Y'all go to IG, it's over there. I looked at the, I looked at the, you have 10 negative accounts on your credit report, mom. And I said, oh bitch, that's when they remind your fat, that's when they remind your Teletubby built ass that you black, huh? That's why, that's when you really remember. Oh, yeah. That's when you remember. <laughs> that's when you remember. Oh, those inquiries are high too. Yes, you ain't lying. Y'all check it out. Y'all check it out. When you look at your credit score, bitch, and you on, you even on a FICO 591. On a FICO, you might be 540. But on your vantage, on your vantage, bitch, you 591, bitch. You even in a 600 club. And you sitting up here talking about a motherfucker. You, 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 you're, you're Kiki Wyatt. 40 years ago, you made a song. Oh, oh Kool-Aid. Oh, 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 oh. Bitch, sounding stupid, looking stupid, probably smelling stupid. Girl, the, Kiki Wyatt, let me say something. Bitch, the only thing this nasty bitch was ever successful at was giving motherfucking birth. That's the only thing this bitch ever been successful at in her life. She looked up. And suck a Von dick to get on a song. But at the end of the day, the only thing is, bitch, you're not successful as marriage. Now, before y'all start, I'm not talking about her kids. I'm talking about her parenting. Okay? I put this on IG too. She's in a court case right now with a company called Heritage Finance Company. Heritage Finance Company, she have a title loan. She put up a car. That she purchased the car in her name, but the car is for her teenage son or daughter. Her teenage child uses the car. In that car, she have a title loan. She put the title up for collateral to get a personal loan to which she defaulted on the loan. To which now they're looking for their money or the car. So I'm not sure about your ability to take care of all these children. Or to even properly parent. So at the end of, yeah, it's on IG. I put the proof out. Oh, the receipts are there. The receipts are there. Y'all can look this up yourself. This is public record right now. This is public record right now. She don't want you to know about that. So while I don't want the baby to miss this call, I want you to go ahead and pay these people their damn money. The people looking for you. They want to get, they want some answers. Go ahead and pay for this. Don't let your, don't let your baby do me out no call because you's a horrible, because you's a horrible Use, okay, because you's the little old lady that lives in the show. She has so many fucking children, they know what to do. Bitch, just because that's you, don't make, don't mean them children got to suffer. So I'm not talking about the kids, I'm talking about her parents and ability and skill. I know right now, she won't lay on her back. Kiki White is like a motherfucking gremlin. 
You know what the Gremlins, you know in the Gremlins movie? All you had to do is throw a little water on them. And they multiply, bitch. That's how that bitch is. You just throw a little water on her. This bitch pregnant. She probably got pregnant for me last night. She looked at me. She talking about my, uh huh. She said she wasn't talking about me as a monkey. She was talking about my dick as a monkey. <laughs> so, bitch, you all on my dick, bitch. I don't want fucking get pregnant for you, bitch. You ain't got no money for me to try to get, <laughs> get out there. How can she speak on your dick? Out, she, she, listen. With, with, with forty three kids, she know probably the only person I know know more, more about dick than me. With all them kids, she know her way around a cock. Let's just say that. She, with all them kids, she know her way around the cock. Uh, so at the end of the day, she could speak on a lot of dicks. She could speak on my dick, your dick. Hello. Yes, this is me. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. It's tomorrow. It's okay. It's, okay, yes. Um, I did. Yeah, I'm, I didn't check my email. There. I'll check it. And I thought it was Sunday first. I thought it was Sunday first. Reason, but yeah, I got. I got. Did get the um the utensils. And what time? And what time is it tomorrow? Just breakfast. Yes. Okay. All right. No problem. I'll be there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Not a problem. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because I thought it was, I was just. Yeah. That's and I thank you for that because I sincerely, I really was like in my mind it was Sunday, but tomorrow's okay. I'm like, oh, discombobulated with dates now. Like dates don't even matter. I don't even know today's Friday. So. Yeah. All right. All right. See you tomorrow. Yep. Cool. All right. Bye bye. Sorry about that. I had to get into that. I had to get my Kiki Wyatt voice, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this bitch. This was the bitch don't want you. Oh, thank you to Rabama. You know this is my favorite girl. You know this is my favorite. I couldn't talk about it last time. Oh, that's show y'all magical bitch. Thank y'all so much. All y'all that's double tapping the share live. Thank you so much. Also, if you don't, go ahead and follow me. You'll love it here. I don't just talk about this. So it's a lot of girls that don't like. Oh, wait, hold on, girl. Hold on. It's a lot of girls that don't like me. You'll find out. And I'll go ahead and give it to them. Your favorite celebrity probably hate me. Your favorite celebrity, you probably stop being your favorite celebrity if you be here a little while. Okay. So she's actually from Indiana. She's not from Kentucky. She's actually from Indiana. She's born in Indiana. She moved to Kentucky. A nice little town called Shelby. That's where she banked at. And that's where the bank right now is the bank statement I got. 